and welcome. I'm Maisel Nan, and because of the COVID restrictions, um, I've been asked to interview Mary Falton, my mum, for her first interview as president of WIDA. So, where should we start, or where would you like to start, Mum? Um, well, I'd like to start by saying um, hello to everyone, um, and I hope that all of you around the world are um, enjoying getting back to dancing and we hope that we're near the end of this tunnel and we will be out at the other side very soon. We've had an awful time really and everybody who's stuck with us, your dancers, yourselves, it's wonderful. That, that will, see, we've learned a lot actually from us. So hopefully we're on our way at the other end. Yeah, and I have to say it has been hard, we know from ourselves and from our own class, yes. but it has been hard to motivate dancers really over these, as you said, the last 12 or 18 months. Absolutely, it seems like such a long time ago yeah. since the uh, toilet roll challenge. <laughs> you remember yeah. that one? It was good. I, I, mean, I mean, the kids loved that. I mean, it, you know, maybe we should do that as an annual event. No, maybe not. <laughs> so congratulations and give yourself a pat on the back. You deserve it. We have all worked really hard and we did very well. So there you go. Yeah. So on to the pressing matter of being president of WIDA. So were you surprised to be invited oh. um, into this role as president of WIDA? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, people who know me know I speak my mind a lot. And, um, really? And it, ne <laughs> and it never crossed my mind that I would be asked to do this job. And I'm delighted. I actually felt very honoured. I mean, when the, it was a surprise and I, I, there was sh shock. I couldn't even speak initially. I thought, is this real? And then um, I was very, very, very chuffed to be asked. So, you know, I hope that in the couple of years that this role goes on for, I can leave something behind me that will benefit WIDA and maybe help all the members. Uh, tell us more about your teaching years. You did your exam with Kogal? With Kogal, right? yeah, because Kogal came about in 1969. Um, and when some of the I, I was a dancer, so at the time I didn't really know much about it, but. They weren't happy, obviously, that was the bottom line. And mm -hmm. a lot of the older teachers, like uh, Rory and the Cadwells, Peter Bolton, Harry McCaffrey, Anna McCoy, um, uh, Mary McLaughlin, all of those, um, all of those uh, broke away. Yeah. And it didn't affect us very much. And the first time I remember noticing there was a difference was the All-Ireland when we didn't have the English schools yeah. over, you know. And, and your island was like the World Championship oh, that nowadays, was, yeah, it's yeah, the big event, yeah. wasn't it, the All Ireland? And, and in those days people didn't travel very far anyway, yeah. um, you know, and so they would, there would be a big thing to see the All Ireland, they're all coming down from the north and they're coming from England, and it was great. Yeah. Um, so no, that didn't happen, but I did my teachers there anyway, and um, um, it was about, I suppose about three years later, after the split, okay. After the split, yeah, about yeah. 69, 70, 71, 72, maybe 73, something about that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Brenda McHugh, my friend, and myself started teaching together, and we went on doing that until I married a Morris dancer and came to live in England. <laughs> wow. That was a festival of sports as well, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Met through festivals yeah. as well, yeah. And uh, so, so you yeah. began teaching in England, yeah. or? Yeah. I did, but there was, uh, there was no Kogal here, around here. There was, well, I mean, I lived near Stratford on Avon. I mean, they, they'd never heard of Irish dancing, to be honest. Thank God for river dancing. Improved every day, all our lives. But, um, uh, uh, yeah, so I joined Coke Commission um, and because uh, there was some in Coventry and Birmingham, which was like 30 miles different directions. So I was kind of there. And we were there for a while. We were only getting into it, really, when I became ill and I had to stop. Our, Come take it down a lot yeah. for a few for a couple of years, and in that time I thought, well, the dancers actually were enjoying being a little bit more relaxed, and so um, I found out I looked about. Somebody told me about that open platform, and I started to look around, and I talked to a few organisations, and then um, I saw that there was a competition not far from us by we the competition, yeah. so I went and I loved it. I mean, it was a very small competition. Even when we started having yeah. competitions with WIDA, they were very small. I mean, <laughs> 50 people, and the next year there'd be 12. No, not quite 12, maybe 30. I, I went down, down the, way down yeah. at the beginning uh, until it finished. But uh, I, I thought it was lovely, and I thought, you know, John told us about the Europeans, 
Yeah. And we went for dances last yeah. year. Berlin, 2007. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I knew it. Dance. I remember it well. Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. And uh, so that was fine. And um, he, I had a longer chat. And I, at the meantime, I'd looked at the rules of the organisation, and I liked it. Yeah. I liked what I saw. I liked which was this one thing was like beginners didn't wear co costumes, just a, a, a skirt and blouse. That was like unheard of at the time. And now other organisations are doing it. I liked that. I liked the fact that they wore their class costumes for the next couple and they didn't get into the swank until they got older. Yeah. Uh, and in, or let's say more advanced, you know, into the open competitions because I had watched children with the mothers dressing them up, thinking, oh, the, the more expensive costume I put on, the better the dancers you will be. And that doesn't work like that, yeah. as we know. Better to grow and, and, and have a reward yeah. for everything. Yeah, into it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, so that's how it was. Um, I'm forgetting to look at this camera, by the way. I just realised I'm not, I'm, <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, talk to a camera. Uh, yeah. I'll get used to it in the two <laughs> years, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And so I joined. Yeah, two thousand seven. Yeah, yeah, two thousand seven. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um. So yeah. So um, so that's kind of how you. So you, that's how you came to weed, obviously. Yeah. Um. And like you say, meeting all the, the the teachers. I think I I remember you telling me that story of walking into the hall in Berlin, and obviously you haven't been in the organisation been to many competitions and, and the teachers coming up to you and, and talking to you and saying hello and giving yeah. you a hug and, and, welcome. and just yeah. Yeah, being really yeah. welcome, that's that, it. That, and, I, and my memory in Berlin, I don't know who this teacher is, I don't know whether he's still with Reader, I hadn't a clue who he was, but he had a, a team of girls doing either a six hand or an eight hand and he bought them all a rose and I thought it didn't matter to him whether they won or they didn't win. He was delighted that they were there yeah. and, and everybody was happy to be there and yeah. we've experienced that a lot in yeah. when I went to Odessa and we went out on the boat that time and, and they're playing Irish music and they're loving it and I'm thinking this is what it should be like and so yeah. I still feel that about weed I still feel the people who love it you know yeah. um, and, and, and I and that's what I like you know and, and, and I that's what keeps you with me, though, I think, it, then. It is, it that's is. I mean, I do like that. I, I'm just, I was just looking at some things that I wrote down. I also liked, and I still like, the uh, fact that the grade exams lead straight to, um, uh, directly to a, 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 degree, um, a, a teacher's certificate. Yeah. Um, or you can take the other route, and it's broken down into sections to help you to get there. Nobody is trying to knock you out they're trying to encourage you bring you on and that is i think that's lovely and um, other i had been we have been we have been, actually been to one or two one yeah organization other, other open that. platform and the organization of the day the fresh day wasn't as good and mm. i mean I, I like i like the way it's set up i, I like it, it runs up clearly all day and people come and say uh, it was the first bit fish. I say outsiders. I come. I say it's first session been that I understood what was going on. Yeah, and that's important. And you can see the progression through the day as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy to follow. Like yeah, it is. And so I like that. There's, there's a number of things I, I like. You know what I mean? So and that's it. Basically, I suppose the best thing is the people. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Like sometimes you're thinking, oh God, I'm going to day to fish, and I, you know, and I'm getting up at twelve hours in the morning, and <laughs> I won't be home till the same time the next morning. And then you get there, and to be honest, you laugh a lot. Yeah, the time just goes by. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's a day when you laugh a lot, and yeah. that's got to be something. And it's also a different world from, you know, and so it, it's, uh, you know, it can be, you can have trouble, you can have people enjoying themselves, yes. you can have anything like that, but generally, it's a day of laughs, yes. you know, and if you don't do that, then you, you're not really enjoying it, but we do. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how, how do you see Weaver, where do you see Weaver going? Um, in the future? Well, WIDA is expanding, has expanded obviously since we joined. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. Um, and it is expanding quickly. Um, now, the new committees, I, I think this is definitely needed because, you know, one person can't do everything or do even one of, all of one thing. We don't have this much time in our lives. So sharing the responsibility yeah. will help the organisation. And it also, people bounce off each other in committees and so they bring in ideas. And, and, and that's why it's always good to listen, even though the quiet one isn't saying much. 
give them the opportunity because if they've listened, they've under, they've heard what's going on at Bank of Meeting. But yeah. I, I think that's I think that's where the future is, and I think they're doing so far. And committees we've seen seem to be doing really well. And great, I, I'm delighted. You know, and, and that's where we should be. Um, was there anything I meant to say that I just have no chair that I meant to say something else and I've forgotten it? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, and yes, the other thing I did want to say was if you haven't um, volunteered for a committee and you think I might like to, I might like to do that, but I'm not sure, go do it anyway. And the people who are on committees will welcome you, I'm sure, because you know, every I say it, it spreads out the work and it helps it helps they, it helps each other, and it might be only stick and stamps on envelopes to send out results or uh, whatever. And I don't mean results, but medals, like for instance, you know, anything, yeah. any small job. It's great if somebody else can do it. Really good. Um, so that's the that's the that's where I see us as a group. Yeah, the committee's gonna committees are going to lead the way, yeah. and 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 you people. It, we, we should always feel welcome and I think we, we are welcome and, 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 and needed so I think that's where we where we need to go. Um, in generally in the world of Irish dancing uh, we do we do is good because it stands we stand together. I mean we can have our arguments but I think we we are allowed to argue which is very good because yeah. in a lot of organizations you have to make sure you're agreeing with the right person or not the right one, you know, too much. At least we are, you know, able to do this and we're okay. able to an open discussion, we're able to talk. As long as we have respect for each other, because we've all come different roads. I mean, my road started a long time ago. Other people's roads are only starting in the last couple of years. And styles are different and, and they've come diff from different, different roads, approaches. different approaches, yeah. yeah. And so that... So we need to respect that in each other um, as well, and 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 be happy for it because that's what will make us. Yeah, we can, we can be like a family, not not the same, and not that different either. Yeah. We aren't that different because we're here because we love it. Yeah, yeah. we are nuts, you know. Um, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, so with that, I think we can once we stand together. Um, I'm proud of Weed. I'm proud of the things that we've achieved. A small organisation, you know. Uh, just a few years ago, and I'm very happy, I'm very pleased that Sean Gavin mm -hmm. had a brainwave <laughs> and started this organisation 17 years ago. So I'd like to leave you with a toast, and I have uh, a little drinky here. It may be early in the morning, but sure, I might get used to this. <laughs> One drink, and I fall asleep, <laughs> so I won't finish it. So I'd like to say thank you to you all, good luck to you all, uh, well done in what we've all done in the last year and a half or whatever it was and uh, here's to the future here's to the next 17 years and beyond and say happy birthday to Rita happy birthday, happy birthday Rita <laughs>